Well, we did it. Uh, we survived the New Brunswick winter living in a tent. Um, I mean, it's it's not really a tent, but technically, I suppose it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, the three major things were, were power, uh, water, and uh, and heat right i mean those are your those are your basic needs so um the water was was not too bad because we have the the bladder under the bed um there were a few days where you know trying to fill it when it's cold out you know water's freezing and um it's more of a hassle than anything but uh nothing bad happened there um the wood uh as i suppose you'd expect we we ended up burning a little bit more wood in the in the tent and I suppose we probably would have in a real house, but uh, that's to be expected. So we burnt through our, uh, I think we had about four and a half or five cords to start with. And uh, now we've had to uh, start going out to the piles uh, that we've got scattered all over the place. And we just split it up as we need it. Um, it's not uh, it's not quite as dry as, as, of course, the stuff that we had split. But, uh, but it seems to be uh, burning okay. Uh, I've had to clean the chimney out. Well, a few times now um, gets a bit of a build up on it so we just uh, we just pull it down and clean it out put it back up and uh, but the heat is the big one especially when it's minus 30 like really nothing else matters at that point so uh, we had to make some changes to the tent um, I'll take you inside here and show you what we've done say hi dozer he's sleepy he loves the sunshine So on the inside here, um, about uh, midwinter, the wife had it with the, the chairs. So she found these two couches on uh, on the swap and buy here and uh, they're in, in really good shape. That one's got a, a cover on it just to keep it clean. So, But uh, man, when it's cold out, to be able to cuddle up on a couch, that's, uh, that's luxury. <laughs> so to help with the heat uh, problem, is uh, we put this poly up on the ceiling um, we, we tried some reflective blankets uh, they're just those like those cheap camping blankets so we put them above where the stove is and uh, they kind of worked if you got the stove real hot you could really feel it bouncing off but uh, on a really cold day it didn't really seem to do anything so by, by putting this poly up creating that extra air gap in there you even got some Little blankets up there to stop the drafts coming down but um the the poly i think is what really did it it gives that that air gap between the tent and uh and the poly and believe it or not it it does create a a, a small r value so we've uh we've got the windows styrofoamed over here and uh and that guy over there uh, we got to uh just to uh, tape it around the edges keep the drafts out this one over here the cat's decided that it's his new scratching post so we just keep putting a layer of tape on it and he just keeps working his way across the styrofoam <laughs> but what can you do uh, when it's cold out you don't want the cats going outside so in case they don't get back in time so the only concern I have with this this poly up here I don't know if it'll stay for the summer or if we'll just take it down we'll we'll see what it does um, I'm just concerned about uh, trapping any moisture in between I don't want any mold or anything uh, growing on the tent so but we can we can see up there we can see what it's doing and uh, so far we haven't noticed any any moisture problems I think the canvas does breathe and uh, we haven't sealed it completely to the inside of the tent uh, it's just sort of stapled up there so hopefully that doesn't become a problem uh, if it is I'll take it down So since the, the weather's been a little more friendly to us uh, lately, I uh, got the snow shovel out and, and dug this uh, sawmill out. So we've been making some lumber again. And uh, my next chore is to deal with this. So I think it's just gonna become um, firewood, I think. Uh, I don't see much else you can do with it. I've salvaged anything I can out of there that would make some decent wood. So it's all pretty thin or uh, 
or it's just off cuts where you know there's not much meat left on it so um yeah i'm just gonna get the chainsaw today i think and turn this into firewood yeah it's been nice having the sawmill running again i managed to cut these 16 foot uh rafter boards for the cabin um i got a couple more over here i just haven't stacked yet so yeah it's nice to see the lumber pile growing my biggest problem though is this uh, pile of logs i've been it's easier to go into the bush cut a tree down drag it back and turn it into lumber than it is to get a log out of here they're all frozen together under the snow so i think i'll have to wait a bit before i can get back to that so i guess that's it we we survived and uh we're real glad that the the weather's starting to break here we can get back to building the cabin um it uh it hasn't been terrible but i, I don't think i want to do another another winter in a tent <laughs> um so uh, some wooden walls would be nice so hopefully by, by the time the snow comes next year we've got uh at least some places dried in i mean i don't imagine that the cabin's going to be finished but uh um you know as long as it's uh waterproof and warm i think that that's the important thing but we'll see how it goes well thanks for uh stopping in checking in on us and uh we'll see you guys next time bye bye